most of you know, we have our fourth annual, four years we've been doing this, isn't that awesome? Very exciting. A fourth annual prosperity conference coming up September 16th and 17th with a bonus day on the 18th for VIPs. We've got Jack Canfield, Simon Bailey, Trish Carr, Nancy Matthews, Craig Duswalt, Wendy Blum teaching sales strategies. We've got a woman coming in from Arkansas who, who shows you how to take your book and actually make lots of money with your book and build a platform for it. So the whole intention of this event, just like today, is about giving you true game-changing strategies that you can put into practice. That's why I started this morning with the recipe for success, that it's possible and it's work. And it works if you work it, so work it, it's worth it. That's what Ooh, this. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so it's about us being the change we want to see in the world, just like Gandhi says. So are you ready to be the change that you want in your life? Are you Absolutely. ready for that? Yes, yes, awesome. Yes. Raise your hand high, and Susan will give you a bracelet or two. And I want to inspire you. Take two and share the message with somebody else. Because when we share this message of growth, of responsibility, we're helping to transform the world and end the crisis that so many people are going through. Susan went to get more bracelets, I believe. I did. There's so many game changers. So many game changers. All right, let's see those hands. See those hands. Hold them up high. Perfect. All right, so the conversation now is segueing from the search words, the ad campaign, and all of that to help you get clear on knowing your customer and where to find them. Because just like when we talked about the anti-aging and we circled back to wrinkle creams, that's what, what are the problems? What's on your mind of your customer? What are they thinking about? I think Louise mentioned, you know, the way that we would think of search terms is not necessarily what our clients and customers are doing. And where are they hanging out? What, what forums, what posts do we want to go to? What websites do we want to create campaigns and banner ad relationships with? The way that you'll get the best results is about really knowing who your customer is. So I'm going to spend a few minutes on that, then Dan is going to come up and we'll talk about some more creative marketing ideas. So let's start with knowing who's your customer because you can't sell to your customer unless you know who they are. If you're just shooting in the dark, it's not going to happen. So what I'd like for you to do now is let's focus on for your particular product or service, who is your customer and what are they going through because it's not just what you know about your product and service and how great it is and how much it can help them, but it's what you know about them and then how you make them feel. Because what you want to be able to do is have your product or service be the solution to their problem that makes them feel better or look better. That's what people will pay money for, to feel better and to look better on whatever level it is feel less stress, I feel so good, you know, I'm not tired anymore. What are some of the problems and challenges that your client goes through that you can give the solution to? Stressed about money, safe investments, whatever that may be. So I want to inspire all of you to sit, spend some time creating your client profile, really getting clear on who they are. And oftentimes, when I first meet with a client, I say, who's your market? What do you think the answer is? Everybody, everybody, everybody has, has what I have. No, not everybody does. So you and I may sell the same exact thing, but because we're different people and come from different perspectives, we're going to attract different types of customers. So how many of you listened to the Wow Wednesday call that I did this past week on client attraction? Was it helpful? Yes. Uh, go back and listen to that again. Uh, I'm sure the link is in your email box. It really drilled it down to how, how to get clear on who your clients are so that you can see more of your clients 
both when you're searching online and when you're out in the world. Yes, Louise. Is there any way, and maybe it exists, and I don't know it because I haven't checked the website, that you could list all the replays? Yes. As it's on there now. Yes, it is. It's on there. Uh, we have an, inc there's an incredible resource on the, um, on the website. It's if you go to wpnevents.com mm -hmm. forward slash wow forward slash replays dot html okay, every fine. single wow wednesday call back to december is there okay <laughs> yeah replays dot html that's a huge resource i've been doing this weekly call since december and and whether it's me or trish or one of our experts on there in december yeah a long time so go back, go, the one from Wednesday was particularly geared to attracting more clients because what I'm hearing from everybody is I want more money. Okay, you want more money, you need more clients. You want more clients, you gotta know who they are, you gotta know how to talk to them and create those relationships. So everything plays together. And it all boils down to understanding who your client is and what it is that they want. That's what we gotta do. And you can sit here and tell me that you've got the latest, greatest jewelry or juice or um, service, whatever that is. You can tell me all the features of it, but until you tell me how it's going to affect me and change my life, you're not going to buy into it. I know that when you come to the conference in September, your life will change because not only are you going to get tips, tools, and strategies, we're going to help you implement everything so that you get lasting results and changes in your life. Not temporary, you want that long-term transformation and that's what our conference is about. Making sure that the ideas that you get stick for the long-term. Now, did you feel what I just did? Makes it stick for the long-term. I know that's what you want. You're sick of those temporary things, those quick fixes. You want to have lasting change that will continue to bring you success. So that's, this conference is designed to do that and I'm explaining that to you. I could tell you we're gonna have great speakers and we're gonna have you know, experts and there's gonna be breakout sessions. That's all the same stuff you hear all the time. We're giving you lasting change. We're giving you that turning point in your life so you can put behind all the stress and the worry and the fear forever. You see the benefit? The problem solving, this, I'm pulling back the curtain on my sales here, you know? <laughs> and I believe in it completely. So how do you do that for your customer? You know, in your life enhancing design, how is my life really gonna change? What's that result? Am I gonna lose weight because I paint my walls a different color? No, you're gonna maintain your health and prevent illness. No, I don't care about that. You don't care about your health? I'm not as much as I care about. Then you're not my market. Well, but I'm just talking about the keywords, though. Maintaining health. Is that what people are going to search for? What's oh, the pr okay. See, that's where I'm going. That's, you've got to speak that language of pain when you're talking to people, because that's what's on top of their mind. You see what I'm saying? You will maintain your health, but what do I, what, you know, people are motivated. If you paint your wall a certain pink, you'll fall asleep in 20 seconds. If you paint your wall a certain pink, you'll fall asleep in 20 seconds, guaranteed. Relaxing colors. There or we how go. about if, um, if I change the color of your walls, you'll lose weight? Yeah, hey. Right. Yeah, yeah exactly, will. exactly. Or you'll get off the magic, get off anti the secret color the to make you lose weight. Click <laughs> here to find out what it is. That's, <laughs> that, that, was was true. True. that was actually on house. Yeah. Um, so, personal. all right, so, so, but do you see where I'm going with this? When you're looking up your keywords, when you're out there doing your elevator speech, when you're writing your blog post, speak to what's really on the mind of your customer or client, not what you think they're thinking. Question. I've heard that like a million times. Find out what the aim of your client is. So let me ask you something. How do you find out what the pain of your client is? You have to ask questions. People that you meet in the room. Well, you, should know, you should know what the client what the pain is because you have the product, so you, you, for you to have created the product, you must have known what the, what the problem was for you to have created the product. Why did you create the product? It was, it was to solve something. Some, is, somebody, is anybody else doing what you're doing? 
only one other person I think on the planet. Only one other. Okay, so that tells me it's a very, I don't know how big it's the market in, is. And where it is, is in the healthcare industry is where it's being used All right. right now. Well, well, it sounds like we need a more individualized conversation around that. Yes. That's okay? Because uh, I, I want to bring Dan back up for more marketing. Yes, Louise. What? I mean, I think I know, always refer to, not always, refer to pain as resolving the problem. Because I don't think I'm resolving the problem. But in my business, I hope I'm adding happiness to what people are doing. Yes, because you do travel and you do language, right? Yeah, I mean, there are people who have to learn another language, but most people do it because they want to enrich their they lives. They want to feel better. They want to enrich yeah. their lives. Go ahead, Erica. The problem could be that they don't know who to turn to to do that. The problem no, is have to look yeah, all so over the problem is they want to travel. Not a negative. The problem is they want to travel to a different country and when they get to a different country they can't communicate. That's a problem. Yes. Right. We'll brainstorm around this some more. Yeah. So so spend time getting very clear on who your client base is and who your customer is and then go a little bit deeper and start to think about besides what they would want to buy from me, what else do they buy? What other products and services do they get? What are their buying habits? Do they buy online or offline? Do they like to pay in small monthly increments? Or do they like to pay all at once to take advantage of a discount? It's things to start to pay attention to. The more you can know about the mindset of your client, the better you'll be able to respond and satisfy them for their particular styles and habits. As you think about the other products and services that they buy, those are going to be great places for you to perhaps do some display ads or backlinks or just do some exchange. You know, for example, if you're in financial services uh, for you know um, life insurance and investments, and you have a relationship with an accountant, you guys could easily put ads on each other's websites because you refer back and forth to each other. Perhaps it's a massage therapist and you know, Arbon, your website for Arbon because it's now, or organics or an herbalist, whatever it is, think about what, what your referral sources are, what else your client buys, because you can set up those relationships to create strategic alliances, both online and offline. Make sense? All right, any other questions before I bring up the fabulous Dan Giordano again? We're good to go. All right, thanks. Come on up.